We are on location at the Imagination Station and we're taking the experiment outside this morning. I have Carl Nelson here, the chief scientist. Hey, Carl. Hello. What are we doing today? We're going to work with liquid nitrogen. One of your favorites. It is. This stuff is 320 degrees below zero. It's always boiling, changing from a liquid to a gas. We're going to use that property to launch some things into the air. Okay, liquid, to a, liquid to a gas. Got liquid it. Liquid to a gas. So, so look at this. So if I pour some in a test tube, mm -hmm. You can probably see it a little bit better. It's, it's bubbling in there, right? It is bubbling, it's yes. It's changing from a liquid to a gas. Sure. If, if I put a balloon on top of this, mm -hmm. you can see that the balloon begins to inflate. With the gas. With the gas, because sure. we're changing from, from a liquid to a gas. In fact, it's an 840 times volume increase. Wow. Which this balloon's not going to be able to hold. So if I put all the gas inside there, mm -hmm. and then take that away and sort of seal it up, the balloon as that nitrogen, you can see it sort of sloshing around in sure, there. Sure, you can. It's going to continue to uh, vaporize. It's going to continue to build up more and more gas inside the balloon. And at some point, the balloon probably just, you know, you know where this is going, yeah, right? Yeah, I do, I they do. It probably just won't be able to contain that gas. Or, in this case, I think it did. Look at that. You were wow. saved. I was. No I was explosion, saved. okay? Kay. So, what we're going to do is we're not going to do that in a balloon. We're going to do it in one of these two liter bottles. Okay, we'll we've take, all seen these before. I'm gonna take some liquid nitrogen. I'm gonna give you a cap to hold on for me. Go Got ahead it. and hold that. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the liquid nitrogen, we're gonna put it in the two liter bottle. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop the two liter into that blue bucket, which has a little bit of water in it. Okay. The water's gonna help get the liquid nitrogen warmed up and the bottle is going to burst. Now these bottles can withstand about 300 PSI or so. Really? Okay, that's, which is, that's a decent amount. That's a decent amount yeah. of pressure. Now, one of the things to keep in mind here is that I don't have to fill the entire bottle up with nitrogen. Because it expands 800 times in volume, I can get away with just filling just maybe maybe a dash more. Just the bottom little feet, essentially? Just the bottom okay. little feet, essentially. Because remember, it expands 800 times in volume. Right, which we just were able to see. It was filling up a balloon as with fast balloon. as you or I yeah. could blow it up. OK, now here's the tricky part. OK. You are going to pick up this trash can. All right. And your job is going to be to drop the trash can on top of the blue bucket when I tell you to. All right. Then we're going to get away. Back it up. We're okay. going to back away. Got it. All right, so I'm going to carefully seal our bottle here, containing the nitrogen, drop it in the water, put the bucket on top, drop it down. Yeah, get, get out of there. Come All on right. over here. In fact, I'll take the nitrogen with us just in case. Okay. So, so we're watching it. We're watching it closely. You hear it. I can, can hear can it you hear sizzling. That crinkle? Yeah. The bottle is getting really, really brittle, building up a lot of pressure, probably in four, three, two, one. Woo! Ah, look at that. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if that went out in the street or not. <laughs> okay, All right. it did not. But wow. amazing pressure built up inside there and launched the trash can up in the air. I could see why you wanted me to get out of there, Carl. Yeah. I so, appreciate that. Should we try that one more time? Yeah, let's try it one okay. more time. So, so for those people at home who missed it the first time, maybe you just heard the boom, get to your televisions right now. We're talking about the power behind oh. science and boy, the pressure building up inside of a two liter bottle. We're filling exactly. it with Liquid, uh, nitrogen. liquid nitrogen right now, just about the feet of a two liter bottle. Then we're sealing it closed, putting it in a five gallon bucket that has some water in there just to get things moving a little bit faster, exactly. right? Wow. Yeah, you, okay. you, got, you got this. All right, down. and the whole idea here is to launch this bad boy up into the air. Exactly. Okay, all right, I'm so ready. You ready? I'm gonna seal this okay. very carefully so that we can trap all that pressure inside. Right. Drop it in the water, drop the can on top, step away. Okay, so we're hearing it start to essentially crinkle up or bubble up, as I'd like to say. But the, the bottle's getting very brittle. Sure. Pressure's building up, and you can kind of hear this crinkling sound. Yep, it sounds like a fryer almost. Almost. And maybe in like five, four, three. Woo! Two, two one. Two, one. And we just missed the car. Excellent. Okay, wow. Got our team members over there. <laughs> Okay. So you never really know where that's going to go. You know it's going to head well, up. So you know, we're going to be generally safe. Generally, it always goes straight up. There's a slight wind out here today. Okay. One interesting thing is usually every bucket we launch is broken. And it's Sarah's got the bucket right there. If she can bring it over, it's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Uh, the bucket has so much pressure built up inside that typically they always break. And this is a heavy-duty trash can that we'd have at home. It's, it's built for life, they say. <laughs> um, hmm. But. Yeah, even on the other side, look at that. Wow. Both sides broken. That is amazing. Awesome so uh, you definitely got everybody's hearts uh, running here <laughs> this morning, Carl. <laughs> the Imagination Station, always amping things up down here. You can experience it for yourself. You can come down here with the whole family. Always something fun happening. Carl, I'm going to go catch my breath. All right. And that's how you imagine it.